Hi, this is Jake with Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be showing you how to customize charts. Specifically, I'll be showing you how to add different indicators, how to change up your chart style, and how to change the time interval of your charts. So as you can see, we are currently working with the first default layout here. I do have a demo account open and activated on my chart here. And I also have the E-mini S&P 500 applied. So by default, the two active indicators per se are the candlestick charts, as you can see right there, and the value tag of the current market price. So the first thing I'll be showing you in which does add some slight customization is the crosshairs. As you can see, my mouse is currently hovering over this plus button. This is actually the crosshair button. So by clicking it and activating it, it does add an active and constantly changing crosshair. This crosshair does show on the Y axis, the current price level you are hovering over. And then on our X axis there on the top, as you can see, it does give you a display of your close, open, high, low, and the current date and price you are currently hovering over. So it does give you just quite a bit of information just based off of currently where your mouse is hovering over. And those crosshairs do allow you to pinpoint and select the exact price levels and time at which you're hovering over. So that's quite nice. We'll deactivate that for now and let's go on to the next thing. So as I said, we will also be showing you how to change and customize your time interval. That can be done so right underneath your symbol selector there. So we'll just click on that drop down menu. And as you can see, you have quite a few different time intervals to choose from. Simply click on that drop down menu and you just pretty much just click and activate whatever time interval you'd like to work with. So by default, it should be on the 15 minute time interval. Um, if you'd like to change it, just again, left click the time interval you'd like to change it to. And as you can see, we are now working with the one hour time interval. As for further customization, we can now go into our indicators. You can do so by, as you can see, there is that little graph button down in the bottom left. So this opens up your indicator section. Now, indicators do behave a bit different than maybe some other platforms. As you can see, candlesticks and value tags are considered an indicator. If you'd like, these are the predetermined defaults. But if you want, you can go in there, click on that cog wheel. We can change any candle styles and colors if we want to. So again, we can just click white. And as you can see, although it's a bit grayed out, in the background there, our candles are now white and have a red color scheme, which is a bit different than the default. Same with the value tag. If you want, you can go in there, add open and close to your value tag as well, add the different value tags you want. If you have any fills or grid lines, you can change those as well. So let's get out of this now and we can continue. So if we do add indicators, clicking that indicator button does add a blank field. So by default, it won't actually add anything. You'll need to go in here, click on blank, and then we can continue on. So let's say, for example, we wanted to add Bollinger Bands. Left click that, and let's get out of this indicator section now. And as you can see, it adds those Bollinger Bands to our chart. Real easy to do. Now, it's also worth mentioning that you can change your type here. So as you can see, we are sorted by type, and I did show you how to change that time interval there. If you want, you can also do ticks. So as you can see, we can customize our ticks and you can filter down on the bottom now. And you also have Renko, which is also nice. So if we get out of this section now, we click that close button. As you can see, we are no longer working with the candles. We are by Renko, but this again reverts us back to time. So just something to keep in mind there. You can also customize your box size for your Renkos. Same goes for ticks as well, it's by default 233. You can click up and down manually or you can just type in what you'd like to do or have. And because we just changed that, it will take a second to update. So let's just wait a second and let our chart update. Okay, so now we're in ticks by 100. And again, you can do time. Currently it is set to 3600 seconds 
again you can just go in there if you want you can edit that up or you can just go and like i showed you before click that drop down menu and select your time interval just some other things before i show you how to add a different section it's also worth mentioning you do have grid options if you want you can activate or deactivate your grid you might be able to slightly see it there as you can see we have grids activated let's go back now just to show you what it looks like without it we turned it off we'll close the section and now there's no grid so again just personal preference on what you'd like to do you can customize this grid color so if whatever reason you're either colorblind like myself or you just want to change the color up a bit to make it a bit easier to see we can go in there we make that yellow now going back as you can see that grid color is actually yellow and it stands out a bit more so it's quite nice and just another customizable feature of optimus trader one more time here we do have our background so it is that grayish black color if for whatever reason you want to change that up again we can go into yellow maybe it is a dark yellow yellowish black just to show you what it looks like there you can close it out so something different if you like that dark style you can go ahead maybe if you're trading at night and you need something brighter you can do so with a white background the possibilities are essentially endless and Optimus Trader does add quite a bit of flexibility into customization. The whole platform is essentially customizable and you can make it your own. If you want at any time, just to show you, you can clear your color, which will revert it back to that default. Same goes for your grid option too. We can just go ahead and clear color and it brings us back to default. So that is the top layer of indicators and all the customization options. But let me show you something else. So let's say, for example, we have our candlesticks or, or the Renko there now. And let's say, for example, we're happy with our top section. So right here, we have our candlesticks, we have the Bollinger Band. But let's say for whatever reason, we want our indicator to not overlay our chart and to be in its own section. We can actually do so by clicking Add Section here. So as you can see on the right hand side, we now have section two. So just to show you our top portion of our chart is up top section one. And then we have that bottom section there is section two. If you want, you can move this line up or down to shrink or expand your different chart sections to make this a bit more viewable. And you can do so for yourself. We can actually expand our chart there just to make it a much easier to view. Just to also mention, as you can see in the top, uh, this bar here, you'll notice you have this little grab icon, which allows you to move it around. If you actually double click within this section, it won't make any widget on the platform full screen. So that is quite nice and something useful. Once you do so, it will populate this widget and only make this visible. If you need to view the other widgets or want to revert, just double click that again. And as you can see, our widgets pop back up. So just something cool. So we'll keep this in full screen for now since we are focusing on customizable charts. Again, if you want, you have your two seconds here. This gray line indicates the separation in between. Let's go back to our indicator section now. And again, we have two different sections. Section one, which has our candlesticks, value tag, and bulging bands. In section two, which is now blank. So let's start to add something to section two. So if you want, you can essentially construct an entirely different chart as you can see, we can add candlesticks, which now we have two charts essentially going at once. If we want to clear this out, we can actually do some different styles here. So maybe we can use an area chart. If we back out here, we'll uh, close this out. And now we're using uh, an area graph, which is essentially a line in its current state here. We can continue to add more if we want. We can add EMA 20 as you can see that adds that indicator there if you want you can add some more in here as well again remember every time you add an indicator it will add the blank section which you'll need to go in there and add whatever you like so we can add the ichimoku close this out and as you can see we are constructing a chart of our own so just something cool and just something to keep in mind you can add as many sections as you like just come down here, click add section, so we can continuously just add more and more indicators or different chart styles as we like to our chart widget. 
close this out just to show you. And we have three fully functional different sections of our charts. Again, each one is separated by this dark solid gray line that extends across your chart and we can expand and contract. As you can see that area chart didn't look 100% when I last showed it to you because the section was um, so condensed. But as you can see, as we expand, that area actually does get that gradient fill. Just showing you exactly where the market is at that current time. The more we expand it, the more easier it is to see per se. Just something cool and just showing you the full customization op options of Optimus Trader. The last thing I'll show you is this pen indicator or this pen symbol. This is all your drawing tools. So by default, it is on the mouse cursor. If you want, we have vertical lines here, which will uh, show you your time value. There you go. You click on the chart where you want that time value to be. So if you need that stagnant time value at a specific point, you can just click there and it'll show you. We have the horizontal. Again, just click on your chart and it'll show you that exact price indicator. So these first two are essentially your crosshairs, but stagnant versions. So if essentially you don't need the crosshair and you want to keep something permanent, you can use that route. If you need to delete, as you can see, we can just use trash can icon and then highlight our drawing there and then left click whenever we need to delete something. See, as you can see, double click allows us to delete the artboard for the symbol. So that gets rid of everything. Here we have some diagonal lines. So as you can see, left click once to place the first point. Then we left click again to place the second point. Here we have parallel lines. So here we have our first one and then click your second one and you get that whole area there. Here we have array, so you get that uh, first point, and then you can extend that arrow continuously on forever. Here we have uh, Fibonacci. So you click your first point, and then you can expand out. So these are your Fibonacci uh, retracement lines. Here we have a typical square, and I know this is getting a bit unorganized, but I'm just trying to show you all the different drawing tools available. And just to show you, as you can see, your drawing tools are only available in the section you initially placed that first point in. So if I want to extend down to section two, it won't allow me to. So we'll need to create two squares for each section there. And then as you can see, we do have the different options over here. So this will allow you to customize colors for whatever drawing comes up next. Here you have text. So if we need to add text in there, My spelling is horrible, but just so you can see, if we click enter then and left click, it will put our text so we can drag this around as we need. And then again, we can delete our drawings by highlighting it and uh, deleting, or you can double click to delete everything on your chart. So that just about wraps it up for all the different customization options on Optimus Trader. There are quite a few, so feel free to mess around and play with what works for you. Again, this platform is essentially all customizable. You need to make it your own and you have the ability to make it to your own. So feel free to go wild, try out all the different combinations there and find something that works for you. But that just about wraps it up for this video. If you do have any further questions, feel free to reach out to us. We do have a community forum, which we're constantly moderating. If you have any questions, feel free to post them there. You can find that at community.optimistfutures.com. You can send us an email to support at optimistfutures.com. You can give us a call. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Thanks for watching, and we hope you found this video helpful.